y'all. I know you, y'all. Stewart just asked Lorna if she wants to have sex with his wife right there. Hey lovies, welcome to my corner of the galaxy here in the Celestial Council. Tasha Monet Sims here with another video for you. Today we are here with the Shady Palms Adult Daycare Center um, with Lorna and her granddaughters Yadira and Nevea. So, last episode, Lorna and her soulmate Stuart agreed to be boyfriend and girlfriend, although Lorna has a boyfriend, Hans. And Stuart has a wife, Perla. So Lorna and Stuart dated a long time ago when they were younger. And, um, you know, they kind of rekindled or I guess you can say met up with each other again with the Shady Palms Adult Daycare Center. And Lorna, what in the... And so, you know... Lorna went to Stuart. They had a little breakfast or whatever together. And Lorna was just like, look, Stu, we are old and we just, we need to go ahead and like get ourselves together. Like, what are we doing? I know you got a wife and I got a man, but I love you. So what's good? And I have no idea why she is doing this, but I'm a let sis live. And so they are, I guess you can say, like seeing each other behind their spouse's back. However, Hans and Perla both saw it happen because they was watching them when they were at that little restaurant. And as we can see, based on this little relationship here, like Hans is not happy about this. I don't know if Lorna is going to break up with Hans and if Stuart is going to break up with Perla. But right now, like this is where they're at. And this is the first time that they are actually having a daycare, um, adult daycare meeting since they got together. Um, so they haven't actually like really seen each other. And so y'all, now that I'm thinking about it. So this here is Dennis Mead and um, Sammy Mead is also in here. So both Dennis and Sammy, I want to say they're either the parents or the... Yeah, Dara, what are you doing? Or the grandparents of Timothy Mead, who is the young man that Lorna met at the club and invite invited and introduced to her granddaughter, Yadira. So we're probably gonna have Yadira and Timothy hang out a little bit um sometime this weekend. But I am actually gonna have Lorna come and have a conversation with Stuart because it's just like Stu it's just like Stuart, like hello like let me know like what's up so i'm just gonna have her go ahead and discuss some info with him and we need to make sure that yadira is taking notes because we want to go ahead make sure that everything is good hello oh there no that's evelyn where it oh there they <sighs> y'all i know you y'all Stuart just asked Lorna if she wants to have sex with his wife right there. And y'all know me. I'm gonna accept. Yes, we do, boo. Yes, we do. Y'all, I cannot believe that these little old flesh bags of bones are over here. Like, seriously? And where are they going to do this? Like, I don't want to spy on them, but I also want, like, where are they going to do this? Ooh, we got some routing issues because Evelyn, in a way, Evelyn is is, is peen blocking. Y'all, I can't believe, like, at the daycare, like, that is not even one of y'all, like, activities. Are y'all going to her bed? Where are y'all going? Y'all. I know I'm the one who hit accept and everything like that. But still, like at the meeting with everybody there. So I'm gonna let them go ahead and do what they do. Both of the her granddaughters are gone. I don't know where they at. Both of her granddaughters are gone right now. They're out. Hello? Oh, they are out at school doing what they need to do, getting their life together. So what I am going to make sure that I do is once we come back with both of her granddaughters and they have all of their things together, we are going to see 
if um, Yadira can hang out with um, some people that she works with um, and see how that... Oh, and Yadira just came back, right? So I don't even got to wait. So Yadira came back. Um, I'm going to see if Yadira could go ahead and hang out with some of the people that she works with and goes to school with. Like maybe they'll go to like a little place where they can um, have a little bit of fun and um, just, you know, like get to know each other and things like that. And of course, we're going to go ahead and invite Timothy because I believe Timothy also works at the little um, coffee shop that Yadira works at. Just so, you know, Yadira can have a little bit of fun. Um, she is hungry, but she could get some food wherever it is that they go. So I'm going to go ahead and have her travel somewhere with some friends. And let's get Yadira out of the house. So um, Yadira apparently only knows two of her co-workers currently. Like she's only acquainted with two of them. Timothy, who we already met because her grandmother met him at the club. And then Everson Reese, who she met. So she's only met these two people at her job. I know there are more people there um, that who are also in university because I set that up ahead of time, y'all. Like, I'll be working. I'll be working. But as soon as we got there, Yadira got an attractiveness alert for Timothy. So Yadira is attracted to Timothy and they already have a fairly good relationship in terms of like friendship. Like they're really getting to know each other. So I might just go ahead and see what, you know, like it's like for Yadira. Um, you know, like just hanging out with Timothy and Everson, but I do, you know, like want to make sure that I make it clear that Yadira is focused on, um, like getting her degree and becoming a doctor and things like that. Like what I'm t trying to do is I'm trying to wait out for the update of the private practice mod by, um, sim realist because then she could open up like her own private practice in terms of like um you know like being a medical practitioner so definitely want to go ahead and do that um that definitely be cool um so i'm definitely trying to wait out that update but i mean she only takes two classes at a time because you know she attempts to help her grandmother out and things like that and speaking of her grandmother let me go ahead and end that club gathering right now because it is five thirty I cannot start or jo well they just gonna have to be meeting wow you're not there so Yadira and Timothy are actually just you know like chatting and things without me making them do it which I love when sims autonomous autonomously you know like do things with each other Everson is cute too but Yadira is completely attracted to Timothy she um says it's a breathtaking encounter um, she's feeling really flirty and she's blushing and I really love the fact that this is like happening like maybe her grandmother knew what she was talking about like Lorna knew like hey young man you and my granddaughter would definitely hit it off so I'm letting them go ahead and chat like Yadira's like getting to know him and she's just like you know thanks you know for like hanging out with me like all I do is school work and take care of my grandmother and my younger sister and I really don't get enough time for myself and Timothy he understands because he also takes care of two older people like um the me who are a part of the Shady Palms Adult Daycare Center like they are also older and he lives with them I want to say they're his parents but y'all I can't remember if they're his parents or his grandparents but Let's have her order a drink for the group so that they can, you know, like have a nice little drink together. And we don't want to leave Everson out. And so basically, like I just, I was thinking in terms of, you know, like with Yadira and Timothy, like they both have like things that they're dealing with outside of them as young people. Like, I really think that the means are Timothy's parents and they just had him when they were older. Um, and Yadira, you know, she lives with her grandmother and neither of her parents are in her life. And I just think that, you know, like Yadira is just out trying to find a way to enjoy herself while still being responsible in a way that she really shouldn't be at this point in her life like she shouldn't be taking care of her teenage sister and she also shouldn't have to be keeping an eye out on her grandmother at this point when she's in college trying to learn who she is 
and everything like that. But Yadira, she loves her family. She wants to make sure that she can take care of them. And that's also why she's doing part-time university so that she can become a doctor. And they may possibly be able to either close Shady Palm so that they are no longer doing the adult daycare center or so that she could supplement the way that they do run Shady Palms and it could be more like an activity club that her grandmother still has, but Yadira operates it in a different function where she's just working on, you know, being the doctor for the people in that club. So I'm also going to have her make sure that she talks to Everson because while she is so breathtakingly taken away by timothy and what she considers to be his beauty like i also want to make sure that she gets to know different people like timothy goes to university everson goes to university i don't know if they go to the same university but i know they all go to university and they both um work at the coffee shop but this is definitely the time for her to get to know different people and see what's out there for her like she does not need to be tied down and i so love this for her but it is 7 50 um p.m yadira definitely still needs to do homework and she and all of the others work early in the morning so as soon as she finishes her drink i'm gonna go ahead and send her home and i have no idea where timothy went like he just bounced on us timothy was like sorry but i got to go so Yadira made it back home. She um, is needing a bit of fun. So I have her just watching TV and she chose to watch the news as her bit of fun. Um, she did all her homework and everything already. So I'm just going to have her go ahead and send a quick tick text, um, a quick text to um, Timothy and just be like, hey, you know, you kind of disappeared at the bar. So I just want to check in and make sure everything was OK. I really had a good time like hanging out with you and Everson today. And I just hope things are good. And while um, she's doing all that, we're actually going to be ending our episode for today here. I thank you all so much for watching um, this episode of Shady Palms Adult Daycare Center. And I know, I know, I know, I do not spend enough time on Nevea and developing Nevea. I spend a lot of time looking at um, Lorna and Yadira. And wait, Timothy texts us back. He said, I hope I can see you soon. Is there a chance of that? So yes, Timothy, there's definitely a chance because Yadira is definitely feeling you. So I'm going to go ahead and have her send some friendly emojis back. Like she's going to be like, yeah, you know, I think that's possible. But in the next episode, we'll definitely spend some time like focus on Nevea and her dreams and like what it is that she wants to do and getting her own friend group together so that, you know, they have so she has an actual storyline as well because I do have some things in mind for her. But again, I thank you all so, so much for sticking around for another episode of Shady Palms Adult Day Care Center. If you would like to see your Sims as townies and any of my LPs, make sure you upload to the gallery with the hashtag TMS Townies. As always, I'm sending positive vibes your way. I'm Tasha Monet. See you next time. Sometimes I feel like I done lost it And I don't even really know the cost yet But every time fear is on my mind You remind my soul that I'm free I know I can't go on my own You came so I wouldn't have to go it alone You took the long road so you could show me home Found love better than I've ever known So now I know that I can say You are exalted above everything on the earth that I've seen Cause I know that my dreams come alive And the love that you promised to me I'll keep singing your praises